Hey, what's up? This is MarketAlchemist.camp, where we learn Elixir and Phoenix by building things. Today is episode number three, or depending on how you count it, episode number four on performance tuning. And it's a pretty exciting one for me. Shortly after recording the last video, I discovered that Elixir and Phoenix were not the bottleneck on my server. And in fact, I could get a dramatic improvement by making some changes to the Nginx proxy and some Unix settings. So let's go over the tests I've been doing. So I've been using the service called Loader.io that basically pummels your site with a bunch of traffic. You can tell it how much traffic over how much time, and you'll, you can basically just throw more and more at it until it breaks. I've been testing three kinds of pages. The first is just the Alchemist Camp homepage, which as you can see is uh, fairly straightforward not too dynamic and it does have a big image the next is the listing page of all the screencasts that i've put on the site as you can see it's a long and ever-growing list and there are a whole bunch of associated topics and things like that that are being pulled out of the database and the third type i've been testing is just the single episode listing and this doesn't look too complex there was a lot of processing being done on the server side though because the content for all of these is generated from this this modified markdown that i write and i do have some of my own macros in it that said one of the episodes that i did recently on performance covered setting up a cache in memory using ets that will cache the uh, the generated html here so we don't have to hit the database every time and same kind of deal on these pages. So the baseline was before I started doing any performance tuning whatsoever, uh, at most I could load about 150, 200 requests per second on this page, uh, maybe 125 to 150 on this kind of page. And uh, I could do more on this page, but it was still only about 300. After setting up the cache, things got a little bit better. Um, these two kinds of pages improved more, obviously, um, and in particular, single episodes got up to a few hundred requests per second. What I've done since the last episode that had a huge benefit for me was all on the Unix side. So let's take a look at uh, this console session. I'm on, uh, actually I'll bump up the font size a little bit more. I am SSH'd into alchemist.camp. One of the key things that can make a big difference is if you edit your nginx.comp file. In this file, there are two settings that can really affect our performance. First one is this worker r limit no file line that I added. This is just the number of files you can have open at the same time. Nginx has a setting for this, but so does Unix. So Keep in mind that even if you increase this number, there may be other things you have to do in order to actually be able to have that many files open at once. The other setting is this worker connections. This is basically just how many connections can you reverse proxy back to your, your backend. By default, this is, by the way, these defaults were all made decades ago and were probably really reasonable in the 90s when you know, hardware was really expensive and really weak. But uh, in 2018, or whenever you're watching this video, you do not want the default of 512 worker connections as your maximum. Uh, I set it to, to the 16th, but uh, I don't think there's much cost of making this huge. And if your backend is something like Elixir, which can handle many, many, many cheap processes, you especially want to have a large number of worker connections. That's it for this file. So we'll, after making those changes, we'll need to restart Nginx and we can do that with system control. At least if you're on Ubuntu and have the same setup I do, you can restart Nginx. And then we should also check and make sure that we can actually open that many files. By default, you almost definitely can't. Uh, there's a command ulimit, which will get you a whole bunch of information. Uh, ulimit dash n will give you the number of open files. I have already changed this to 32768. By default, most distros will limit you to just 1024. 
To change that, we'll need to edit a few different files. So first is Etsy security limits .conf. Since we're using VI, we can just hit capital G, go to the bottom of the file. And you can see I've added these four lines here. The ones that start with root set the limits for the root user. The ones with stars at the beginning set the limit for everybody else. As you can see, there are two kinds of limits. There are soft limits and there are hard limits for the number of files you can have open. A soft limit is how many files you can actually open. The hard limit is the highest setting that the soft limit can be set to. So I've chosen 32768, as I said. Depending on your hardware, you might want more. There is a cost to just making it ridiculously high, though. So um, I, I would do a little bit of experimentation and see what works best. So that is the first file that I edited. Next was a systemd configuration. Systemd system.conf, I believe. Yep. And I'm just going to search for no file. So I uncommented this line and I set the maximum number of files. I guess I set that one to 65,536. As I said before, it'll be the lowest limit that applies. So we'll quit that one. Uh, then in order for the limits file, the first one we edited to have effect, we also have to edit Etsy pam.d common session. And at the very bottom of the file, I added this line session required pam underscore limits dot so. And then I made the same change to the uh, common session dash non interactive file. Let's see here, I've added the same same line that will make sure that we're using the settings that we put in this this limits .conf. Okay, then after setting the system comp, all of this, I rebooted the system. And at that point, U limit n was 32768. However, neither Nginx nor Elixir or Erlang had that high of a max file limit. They were both still at 1024, at least on my app. And the reason for that is because every single process has a max file limit and they inherit that from whatever started them. The way you can check if you're not sure is you can just do ps-ef to get your processes and then grep whichever one you're looking for. So nginx or uh, the name of your, your deployed Elixir site. So this was a campsite for me. This process number is 1351. And we can look at that with cat proc, then the number of the process, which was 1351, and then limits. And you can see the max processes is here, and then the max open files is set to 65,536. This is Elixir. Now let's check Nginx again. 2746. So cat proc. 2746 limits 65 536 if you're seeing 1024 as i did it's very likely that that's because you haven't changed your system conf which we just looked at or your user conf has a different limit so let's go to user conf and do the same search of no file and you can see i've set this one to 32768 it's a little bit odd that this number is higher than the limit for the Alchemist user, since that user is the one that runs the campsite application. It's possible that's because I've made some changes since rebooting. I did go back and forth a bit between uh, 32 and 65,000. Either way, you can see that the current limits for both Nginx and for Phoenix are 65K. Now, let's take a look at the difference this made in the performance. Previously, a single episode page would max out and, and really be struggling at 175 clients a second. Actually, I believe this was after uh, the first round of tuning. And now, 
Notice this response time is down to 417 milliseconds using the same number, or actually using 250 clients a second instead of 175. And at 750 clients a second, it does get a bit slower, and there are a few errors, but it actually still manages to stay up. And 750 clients a second on a $5 a month server is nuts. Episodes pages got a more modest improvement. Um, they stayed stable at a maximum of about 450 clients a second. As you can see, it got a bit slow at that point. Previously, they really struggled at 200 clients a second. And, um, and at this point, 200 is, is nothing for them. The home page had a dramatic improvement. Um, you can see there are some errors here, and it's taking uh, 1.1 seconds to respond all the way back to loader, but this is 1,200 clients a second. So what it really came down to was just getting Nginx and Unix out of Phoenix's way so it could take full advantage of its ability to spawn really lightweight processes. And while we were doing this, it looks like I still wasn't really pushing the CPU that much on DigitalOcean. Memory's been just around 65%. This dip was when I rebooted. And disk I.O. and bandwidth seem to be the only things that are really spiking off the chart. So yeah, that is my response to the long thread on the Elixir forums where some people or at least one person was concerned about only being able to handle 200 visitors a second on a $5 a month droplet. We're getting really slow with that many visitors a second, which by the way, I think is, is actually pretty good for a dynamic page. But now that same kind of page uh, will handle about 750 a second before hitting that kind of breaking point and is very snappy on 250 clients a second. I think they were more concerned about the time. This is a very good time, especially when measured externally. And uh, I've got something new to post this long thread. Gotta say, even though it was not necessary at all to do this level of performance tuning on a site that gets like 300 visitors a day, it was a lot of fun. So I hope it was useful for some people watching and see you next time.